This short video shows how the automated fitting tool in MaxSurf Modeler can be used to help create NURBS surface models of existing vessels. Here I demonstrate the final stage in the modeling process. After marker points have been digitized or imported and a NURBS surface has been approximately manually fitted to these data, the automated fitting then refines the NURBS surface to produce a more accurate fit to the original points. We'll now look at how we can use the genetic algorithm fitting to improve an initial manual fit. So with the manual fit we would have fitted the corners, the edges and then done a rough fit of the interior of the surface. The GA fit can then be used to improve the fitting in the interior part of the model. And it works very well if the markers are not organised, so for example if you just had an unstructured point cloud which would be quite hard to fit manually if you didn't have section data. So here I'm starting with my initial model that I fitted manually and had quite a good fit for actually. And what I'm going to do is um, assign all the markers to that hull surface. And I can measure the marker error and I can see that I've got about 15.6 millimeters as the maximum with a mean error of about 4.2. So now what I'm going to do is actually duplicate this hull on exactly the same spot so I can compare the genetic algorithm fit with the initial hull that I started with and see how it's improved. So I'll just make a copy of that and I'm going to rename it the parent hull and I'll also hide it so that it won't be used in the fitting. So from the markers menu I've got the fit service to markers I can select the surface I wish to use which is the hull surface and I can also specify the time that I want the algorithm to run for. I want to lock the edges because they've been fitted already and this model has a bit of tumble home so I'll untick that option. Then it's just a question of starting the fit and waiting for the time to elapse. During the fit you can see how long and how many generations have been tested so the algorithm works by generating a large number of random models and then picking the best models and using them as a basis for the subsequent generation of models and you should see the error gradually decreasing. So when it's finished I can accept and close the model and I can see what the error is again and compare that to what I had before. So there's not much change, a slight improvement, but I think my original model was actually quite good. So if I want, I can actually go to the preferences menu and show the marker with the colour based on its error. And to highlight that a bit better, I can make the markers a bit bolder by changing the thickness here. So if I change that to 3, the markers will be a bit brighter. And you can see that one red spot, and I actually think that's more of an error in the digitising rather than an error in the, in the modelling. As you can see we've got quite a smooth surface here with the different contours. And we can also look at the Gaussian or longitudinal and transverse curvatures and see. So you can see here we've got quite a smooth model. So if I just go back to the smooth shading, I can compare the original to my parent. So the new hull is, is yellow, I'm just going to change the colour of the parent to red. And if I turn that on, you can see the difference between the modified hull, the yellow one from the genetic algorithm, and the original red one. And there's another option to make the surface contours follow the same colour as the surface. And in that way I can also compare the contours of the two different models. So the yellow curve is the modified hull and the red is the parent. 